Do you want to know how to be such a badass playing PlayStation on your phone? In this video I'm gonna show you how. This video consists of three parts. The first one is how to connect your PlayStation 3 controller to your Android device. Secondly, you have to install whatever game you would like to play. The last thing you have to do is to install something called an emulator. An emulator is a program that will let you run and play the game you just installed. First I have some clarifications. This is entirely free. Your phone doesn't need to be rooted. I'm not responsible for any of your actions. You also have to enable unknown sources. To do that go to settings. Security And enable unknown sources Let's get started Part 1 To connect your PlayStation 3 controller, you will need three things. A PlayStation controller, a charger to the controller, and a USB OTG cable. There will be links in the description to an Amazon page where you can buy them if you don't have them. You also have to install an app called 6-Axis Enabler. Let me show you how. Start by clicking the link in the description. Then go ahead and press the download button and wait for it to finish downloading. Once it has finished downloading, go ahead and install the app. All the preparation is done now. I'm going to show you how to plug it in. Start by connecting all the wires together. Connect your controller to your charger. Your charger to the USB OTG cable. And the USB OTG cable to your phone. Make sure you don't turn on your controller while plugging it in. 
The lights on the controller will flash if your phone has detected it. If your phone didn't detect it, go to Settings. Device Connection USB Connectivity and Detect USB Device The controller is now detected and the red lights has began to flash. But, it still doesn't work. To make it work, go to the app you just installed named 6Axis. As you may can tell from the blue squares on the screen, the controller is connected to the phone. Another sign for successful connection is that only one light is turned on. Part 2 for this part, I highly recommend you to download the file manager called ES File Explorer. Link will, as always, be in the description. To download the game, go to meparadise.me. Link is in the description. Once you are there, scroll down, and click on PSP ISOs. Now, you have to press the first letter of the game you would like to download. In my case it is Little Big Planet, so I'm gonna press the letter L. Go ahead and scroll down until the game you want to play appears, and click on it. Press the Download Links button. Press the link. Download it by clicking here. Wait for it to finish downloading.
Once it has finished downloading, open up your file manager and go to Downloads. Select the file you just installed by tapping and holding for a few seconds. Go ahead and press more. Press extract to and select current path. Wait for it to finish. Once it has finished, you should have ended up with this folder. Open it by clicking on it. Select this file. Press more, extract it and choose current path. Wait for it to finish. You have now successfully downloaded and installed the game. Part 3 The last part is fairly simple. You just have to download an app called PPSSPP. Link is in the description. Open the app. Give it access to your storage. Press Games. Scroll down and press Download. If you've done it right, your game should be appearing, here. To play it, simply click on it. But wait! You are not ready to enjoy the game just yet. There are some settings you have to change first. Open up your PPSSPP app again. Go to Settings. Scroll down until you see Immersive Mode. When Immersive Mode is enabled, it will hide these annoying little dots. If you have them, then, go to Controls and deselect on-screen controls. This will make you able to use your PlayStation 3 controller instead of these on-screen buttons. 
Also, make sure your PlayStation controller is connected while deselecting, because otherwise it won't work. And now the last part. Enjoy! And as always, thanks for watching.